Hello there lovely friends. I am back with my first little review for you guys for the year. This one is Ghost Town by Kevin Chen. This one's quite an interesting one. When Keith returns to his dying hometown in Taiwan after being released from prison in Germany, his homecoming coincides with the Ghost Festival, which is when the gates of hell are opened, as the book describes it. His return brings a lot of ghosts, from the literal ones of family members who have died, to the personal ones of his sisters and his family's past. The story is like a ghost itself, floating, strange, drifting through the past and the present, moving through the lives of the different characters, and even voicing some deceased members of the family. While the label of main protagonist is probably best leveled at Keith, as he like incites the events of the novel, or his return does, and with the mystery of like what led him to Germany and his crime there, the book is really more of an ensemble with the family secrets and the different family members and the things that haunt the family being the real connecting element. The book is at its best when it's being ghostly, whether that's taking the voice of a dead family member, or showing us the dying hometown where everyone has left, the whole younger generation is gone, telling us stories of ghosts and spirits in the local area, or places that are part of local lore, just drifting between past and present so beautifully. It may perhaps be a little bit confusing at first until you get the rhythm of the tale telling because the changes in tense and character and sometimes from first to third person for example within or across chapters is not like really clearly marked uh, or introduced um, but it's a good read. As I start reading this one I found myself really involved and engaged with the story enjoying the writing but I felt like I didn't really enjoy it. The fact is this book is relentlessly depressing. Everyone in the family has a tragic story and after a while because there's no real light or many sort of simple pleasures the book takes on a very dramatic soap opera feeling which perhaps isn't surprising given that the author is also an actor. Reading this, I was reminded a lot of the book, or you might have seen the movie Peyton Place. I did review this um, quite a few years back now, which I'll put a link below for you. Um, but yeah, this book is entertaining. It's not badly written, but it feels a bit melodramatic, or you could term it what some people call misery porn. This book has loads of animal harm, homophobia, bullying, domestic violence, self-harm, rape, murder, mental illness, sexism, poverty, violence, child abuse, political arrests, a cult, and of course it also has Nazis. So suffice it to say, this book may not be for everybody. Um, as you may notice, if you read the blurb of this book or you've had a little bit about it, it's written by Kevin Chen and the protagonist is called Keith Chen. So you can probably tell this book does contain some biographical elements which is something to kind of think about and ponder on a little because that again reminds me of Peyton Place. Uh, yeah this was the winner of the grand prize of the Taiwan Literature Awards and has been highly anticipated by the New York Times. And there's a very interesting chapter at the end of the book where the translator talks about why they chose certain names or certain phrases and words to translate in the book and the title itself, which I found really interesting um, and a very nice touch because everybody in this book um, has mostly English names. There's um, Betty and Barbie and Keith and things like that. So I was kind of curious about the choice there. So I'm really glad they had that chapter. So yeah, on the whole, this one's really evenly paced with like little tidbits in each chapter, which I really liked. It is entertaining. It's very readable and the characters are very vivid. It genuinely has a unique narrative voice, which I feel like is a little bit harder to come by sometimes um, in more recent novels. So yeah, but it's, it is relentlessly dark and quite brutal. So this one is one to read. I mean, it's really, it's wonderful to get your hands on books like this translated into English and steeped in a culture and color and drama from other countries that we don't often get reads from, in my experience anyway. Uh, but this one may not resonate with you because it's so dark and 
yeah, but the author does have a lot of talent. So yeah, I just want to say a quick thank you as well to the lovely people at PGC Books for the copy of this book for review. You can check out some of my other videos. I also have another channel and social, so you can find links below if you want more of that. And if you want to hang out again, remember to like and subscribe. And you can always leave a comment. Let me know what you thought or let me know what else you might want to see. Thank you.